Hello, hello. Welcome back to those of you who have been here before and to those who are new here, welcome to the Madhouse. This week I am working on a very simple but sturdy bookcase. I'm going for a fairly simplistic design on this piece, um, so I am removing the back. It'll make it easier to paint in general, but it'll also mean not having to tape off to do two different colours, which is what I'm doing. My designs these days are going to become fairly simplistic because of time restraints. As some of you will know, I have taken on part-time work at a local cafe. I'm only working three days a week at the moment and it's only working the morning shift, so from 6.30 until 10.30 and then when I finish there I walk down the road to my workshop and do this work, which I love and will continue to do, so don't worry, I am not giving it up. But because I've had to take on part-time work, I am of course more time restricted and need to really consider the projects that I take on and the designs that I put into them. I am hoping this does not mean that my designs are going to become boring. I really don't want them to become boring. I still want to be entertaining enough for you guys to watch and enjoy and also to put my creativity into things because that's what I love doing. But I am definitely going to have less time to work on this stuff. But anyway, now it's time to clean and you know what that means. I actually wish I'd recorded myself cleaning it this time because the staples that I dropped on the floor before I didn't clean them up and I'm wheeling around on my little creeper stool and uh, the wheels got caught on the staples and I nearly went tits up a few times so I'm sure you guys would have appreciated seeing that but yeah unfortunately did not record. This backing board did um, end up quite a bit munted from where I pulled the staples out so I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use some tape over all of the holes on the back of it so that when I put Bondo in the holes, the Bondo won't just fall through. I'm using Cartamelli Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond in grey. Now I won't be priming the main part of the bookcase because it's in really good condition and I trust the paint to adhere so I don't really need it for adhesion properties. But I'm using it on the backing board because the surface is really uneven after doing the repairs and sanding. The paint I'm using on the main part of the bookcase is Made by Paint in the colour Navy Sail. And yes, the paint tin is a bit dented, but it does not affect the paint inside. As I've said in other videos in the past, I'm opting to spray more often these days. It is easier on my hands, with my hands getting worse. It is also a lot less time consuming, and you do get a really nice finish with spraying. I still see a lot of people out there saying that they don't want to spray because it's more time consuming, the setup, the clean up, etc. But it really isn't. I've left all of this in to show you how much is involved in setting it up. But there are heaps of other videos out there where people talk more in depth about the setup and the time and how long it takes and all of that kind of stuff. But it really doesn't take much time at all. Um, it took me less than a day. Like, I had already been 
at work at the cafe at this point it so it basically took me half a day to set up spray and clean out the spray gun on this bookcase when it comes to diluting paint i like to simplify things a lot because i've tried using little doodads in the past to change the viscosity or measure the viscosity based on how many seconds it takes to pour the paint it's too complicated for me i like things to be dumbed down because i do have a tendency to be an idiot i like doing it so that when i'm pouring the paint through the paint filter if it's not pouring through fast enough then the paint needs to be thinner if it's pouring through too fast then i've added too much water and i need to add more of the paint into it but please if you're adding water or flow troll or whatever you're using to your paint add a very small amount at a time because if you're adding it to all of the paint that you've got you've got no got no more paint to add back into it to make it thicker so it's easier to thin it than it is to make it thicker again if that makes sense there's no going back if you add too much water to it The reason I've got the bookcase laying down on its back like this to start off with spraying is so that I can get both the tops and the undersides of all of the shelves. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than having it standing up but it really wasn't. It was still super awkward and super clunky. This is a great spray gun but I'm looking forward to getting something with a little less bulk on the back of it. What I'm doing here is twisting the nozzle on it so that it changes the, not the direction, but I changed it from spraying a vertical line to a horizontal line, which did make a big difference in how easy it was to spray these tight corners or tight spaces. Now I don't usually leave this much footage in when I'm spraying or painting or something like that but I really wanted to leave a lot of this in so that you can see how I go about moving a piece around or my movement of the spray gun and how I get into certain spaces and the direction that I go in and so on and so forth. It might help someone, it might not, but I thought it might be helpful. It was very overcast this day, um, so I don't know why I didn't have my light out to begin with, but I got it out now so that I could go through and give everything a really good once over to make sure I didn't miss anything. I did miss a couple of spots, so I went over those spots again with the spray gun, and then it was good to go. This is three coats later, and the next day all dry and looking absolutely gorgeous. This had no sanding in between coats, so this is just three coats on top of each other, no primer, and it turned out absolutely amazing. Now it's time for me to paint the backing board and I'm using Unique Options Australian Mineral Paint in the colour Winter White.
I could have put this one through the spray gun as well but because it's just one big flat surface with no corners or anything tricky to get into I opted to just use a roller in this case I'm using a two fussy blokes roller with a clean new roller sleeve In total I did three coats, sanding with 400 grit sandpaper in between. Now I was just planning on leaving the backing white originally, but of course I was too far ahead of my schedule so I decided to complicate it a little bit and add some pinstriping. Now, as is customary when dealing with tape and painting, I'm running some white paint over the tape edge first, and I'm doing this so that the paint will go under any tape where bleed through might bleed under might happen, and that way when I go in with my main color, that won't be what bleeds under the tape. You can also do this using clear coat, but I only do that if there's clear coat under the tape. Otherwise, when you take the tape off, if any of the clear coat has gotten underneath the tape edge, you can see a difference in sheen. I did initially plan on spraying the stripes gold, but I would have needed to tape off all the other big sections as well, and I didn't want to waste any more tape on this, and decided to use the same colour that I've sprayed the main part of the bookcase. So this was going to be a really super, super cool and satisfying tape peel but as you can tell it really did not go to plan because the tape kept you know tearing and it was kind of frustrating We're nearing the end of this one so I'm just going to give you guys a quick reminder to check the description for all products used as well as links to my buy me a coffee, my Amazon wish list and my merch store. And don't forget to check out the explanation video for my channel membership. It's pretty simple and straightforward and it is super cheap and affordable but if you cannot afford to do it or support me in any of those ways please don't do it. I'm you know, don't want you to send yourself broke just to support me. The only thing I will ask for is that you give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. I really hope you guys like this piece and if not, well that's just too bloody bad, isn't it? Um, I hope you at least enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.